Welcome to this day and everything cool for February 15th. Today is an important day in the history of the internet. On February 15th, 2005, three former PayPal employees, Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Joed Kareem, launched their own video sharing website called YouTube.com. The first video, titled Me at the Zoo, wasn't actually uploaded until a few weeks later, and although video hosting websites had already existed, the thing that made YouTube unique is that anyone could upload their own content. This changed the world, ushering in a new era where everyone with a camera or a cell phone could become a content creator with potential to influence millions of people. YouTube was bought by Google a year later, and today it easily rivals the biggest film and television studios on the planet. This next one is a bit smaller, literally. On February 15, 2001, the scientists working on the Human Genome Project published the first draft of the entire human genome. The human genome is basically the genetic code that makes all of us, so having a complete map makes it possible for scientists to find cures for diseases like cancer, understand our evolutionary history, and predict how things might affect us in the future. The project took years, first kicking off in the 1980s, and involved hundreds of scientists from countries all over the world. If the Human Genome Project makes you feel all warm and fuzzy, here's something that might bring you down. On February 15, 2012, the PlayStation Vita launched in North America following its release in Japan a few months earlier. It was a successor to Sony's handheld PSP and was loved by players all over the world, giving them portable games with better graphics and audio, and most importantly, two analog thumbsticks. The success of the Vita was short-lived, though. It failed to meet sales expectations, with Sony putting the blame on the rising popularity of smartphone gaming, so there was a sharp decline in the number of new games released for the system. Sony has virtually stopped supporting the Vita, although it has a loyal following of supporters and does occasionally get a new game here and there.